Hello all, good evening and we welcome you to another match in the TSL, the Super League and this is your commentator Shalin Gupta welcoming all the viewers and spectators once again for another match and this is a match in the B division of the TSL the Uptown Champions, they are locking horns with one science and the news from the centre is that the Uptown Champions, they won the toss selected to bat first, here comes the first ball Veer Dhawal is the opening bowler and Chintan and Darshan are the opening pair for the Uptown Champions, Veer Dhawan will start the proceedings with a new ball. And play says the umpire. The first ball about to be bowled. Here we go and here comes Veer Dhawal. On strike is Chintan. The left-handed batsman. That's a short delivery. He's played that nicely. Should be some runs. Oh and that will be a boundary right from the word go. That's a poor delivery to start. That's a good shot by Chintan. He started off so well and has opened his account on the very first delivery of this match. And What could you ask for in terms of a good start? That's not the right way to ball the new ball. The first delivery way outside the off stump and going down leg and he's just helped it towards the fine leg for a boundary. Chintan starts off with the boundary in style. Poor delivery though by the bowler. He will have to come back in this over of his. Oh, and that's a good comeback. That's a dot delivery. He was trying to cut that, but that slightly took off as well. Chintan telling his partner did have the bounce that delivery oh, 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 oh that could have been a big wide but instead he somehow managed to hit that should be a couple of runs just a single though Probably the most strangest shot of this TSL till now. <laughs> He's trying to hit it big, unfortunately. While he was turning back, he got a got the bat on the ball and a single taken. And now it's Darshan who's on strike for the first time. That's a good delivery just to dot on that occasion. Oh, and that's a good shot. This should be a boundary. That's a misfield as well. I'll just show you the replay. That could have been stopped, but slightly sloppy, I would say. Just have a look at that for a replay. Short delivery is cut that nicely. Oh, and that should have been stopped. That's a boundary to Darshan as well. So both the batsmen now have opened their account. And both of them opened their account with the boundary. So the bowler needs to go back to the drawing board before bowling the next delivery, for sure. That's not the way. He would have liked to start a spell. Nine already on the board. This is just the first over. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. But straight to the point fielder. That's the end of the over. No run on that last delivery. Nine without loss after the first over. We'll take a quick break. Be back soon. Stay tuned.
You're back live. Ketav Shah is the new bowler. Oh, and that's a very good start by him, but that's edged towards the third man for a single. Ketav is a genuine wicket taker. He starts off with a good delivery. The lefty takes a single. Chintan and Darshan is now on strike. The right-handed batsman. So Darshan needs to be really careful. As Ketav has the knack of bringing, bringing the ball very sharply into the right-handers. Coming into bowl is next delivery. Oh, that's a good one. No run on that delivery, just a dot delivery. Oh, and that's the one that comes into the right-hander. Very close to be getting into the cotton mode. Cotton bolt mode. That was a good delivery. In the air, this could be a big one. What a shot that is by Darshan. Absolutely brilliant. That was a short delivery and he's pulled that to perfection. Just have a look at that for a replay. Wow. Oh, and that's almost a half tracker. He's, he was waiting for that Darshan. And what a shot towards the deep mid wicket for a big six. Brilliant shot towards the onside by Darshan. He's picked the length beautifully. And that's the first six in this innings. Hit by Darshan, the right-handed batsman, the opening Namaskar. batsman. Namaskar. What a shot that was and Ketav coming into bowl, his next delivery. That's a good comeback by the bowler. And that's the end of the second over, 16 without loss after two overs. Veer Dhawal coming to bowl his second over starts off with his first delivery. Oh, and that has come sharply into the left-hander. He's played it nicely though. There's a fielder out there at fine leg. Chintan takes a single and Darshan back on strike. That's a good start by Chintan and Darshan to this innings. That's a short delivery. He's put that towards the sweeper for a single. That was a good cut shot, but just a single.
coming into bowl's next delivery that's a good shot by chintan this could be a boundary towards deep mid wicket there's a fielder out there chasing and trying to stop it but he'll not be successful the ball wins the race eventually what a shot that is and we double will have to change his line that's not the right line to be bowling to the opener just have a look at that another delivery outside the leg stump and going further down giving the batsman the license to just hoik it towards the mid wicket that's a boundary he's played it really well the score has reached 22 this is just the third over chintan and darshan both have scored 11 runs that's a great start by the opening pair coming to bowlers next oh and this time cut brilliantly will be a boundary what a shot that is absolute brilliance shown by chintan that's a touch of elegance just have a look at that the gap was found absolutely brilliantly short delivery again he needs to better the length as well the line on that occasion was good but then the length needs to be improved and chintan is on fire at the moment dealing in boundaries two in a row now What a delivery wow that's a peach It's a great comeback by the bowler Veer Dhawal bowling an absolute chaffa He almost got rid of Chintan on the previous delivery is coming back to bowl is next that's the length that you have to bowl oh another good one this time in the block hole chintan missed that completely that's a very good comeback by the bowler although he's got it for 10 runs already in this over so that's the end of the third over 26 without loss and that's a good comeback by veer dhawal on the last two deliveries of this over Keith of coming into bowl is second over. What a brilliant drive that is! Straight to the field, a chance of a run out, but that's a good piece of running. Single taken quickly by Darshan and Chintan. Chintan back on strike after that quick single. It's a good delivery. Spare it straight to the fielder at cover point. And a single taken quickly.
Oh, that's a good deal. That's a full toss in space. That brilliantly for a boundary. Not a good delivery, to be honest. For a moment, we thought I thought that going to get into the right hander, but the length was too much. So that's a boundary. And Darshan, let's have a look at that. Probably trying the slow one, but Darshan was ready for that. He's played that brilliantly. It was wide of long on. And here we are, back line. Oh, what a delivery. What a comeback. So Ketav, slightly inconsistent. He's bowling some really good balls, but unfortunately, he's got hit for some runs as well. Oh, he's played that brilliantly. Could be. Oh, that's a catch. He's gone. What a catch that is. It's Rushab who's taken the catch. And that was such a cool catch taken by a really, really cool customer out there. For a moment, we thought this will be going towards the boundary. It was played so nicely in the air, straight down the ground. But there was a long off, which was slightly into the boundary. Probably 10 steps into the boundary and that did pay dividends. The first wicket down, Ketav has taken the first wicket for his team and he's given the breakthrough, much needed one. Rushab takes the catch at long off and we'll take a quick break. Stay tuned. 32 for no 1 now and this is the fourth over. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We've got the new batsman on strike, Nikesh Patani. And he'll be facing Ketav Shah. He's a very good batsman, this guy. A genuine all-rounder for the team. Oh, that's a wonderful delivery to start with. Trying to take the quick single, but sent back at the right time. It's a good start by Ketav to the new batsman. Just a dot delivery to start with. So it's Veer Dhawal coming to bowl his next over. That's his third on the trot. 32 for one after four. He starts off with a good delivery. Chintan on strike and he's just lost his partner in the previous over. He was playing really well. Darshan didn't pick the right delivery. Or maybe he didn't hit the right shot. The delivery was there to hit it in the air but didn't get the distance and Rushab took a very good catch. They had the long off. Oh, that's a good delivery. He was trying to just cut that, but the length was really nice. And the line was also really good. So just a dot delivery. It's 
a short delivery is cut that nicely straight to point chance of a run out at the batsman end but sent back at the right time nikesh doing the right thing that's a good comeback by the one science bowlers too many dots in the previous in the last two three overs and all three have been dots in this over coming into bowlers next delivery Oh, that's a wonderful delivery. He's taking the ball away from the left-hander now. It's a great thing, and he's finally realised that it won't help him if he keeps on bowling outside the leg stump. So he's changed the line brilliantly in this over. Four dot deliveries. That's a wonderful effort by Veer Dawal. Oh, and this time brings it back into the left-hander, but that's a good shot for a single. Nikesh back on strike. Chintan eventually gives a strike to Nikesh after five deliveries. He's got a single in his over. Kutilari has played it nicely to the short cover fielder but no run and that's a very good over just one of that he completes his third over has figures of 20 without any wicket Veer Dhawal has done a good job in the previous two overs 33 for 1 after 5 In the eighth, Tapan Shah, the new bowler, almost got a wicket on the first delivery. And a single taken. Tapan being introduced into the attack. It's a good start by the offy. And on strike is now Nikesh Patani.
Coming to bowlers next delivery. That's a good shot by Nikesh. Straight to the fielder. Chance of a run out at the bowler's end. But he's been sent back. That's a good throw by the fielder. Could have been trouble if they would have chosen to go for the run. That's a short delivery, he's played it back to the bowler and that's a good stop by Tapan on his own bowling, just a dot. That's a full toss and he's hit that brilliantly, one bounce into the fence. Nikesh Patani has just got off the mark with a wonderful boundary, that's a poor delivery and punished. Deserve what it got deserved that's a boundary towards the deep square like one bounce into the fence and Tapan would not be happy with that effort it's a very good shot by Nikesh and he's off the mark in style Good delivery straight to the fielder he's played this time just a dot delivery that's a good comeback by Tapan after being hit for a boundary should be gone he's gone yes that's a wonderful bit of bowling by Tapan that was absolutely plumb in my opinion he's not happy in the cage but it seems that's the right decision as far as I am concerned just have a look at that oh, oh that was probably really close we can't comment here from the comment from here because the angle that we get to see here is a different one doesn't seem to be happy with that decision Tapan has got a big big breakthrough a huge wicket in the form of Nikesh and two wickets down now. We'll show you the replay once again. Very close call to be honest. You can't blame the umpire as well but then. That's the end of Nikesh's innings and just have a look at that. Oh and you can't say that was not out. That's That looks plumb from here but then. It was a very close call for sure and the umpire favoring the bowler which was in my opinion the right decision. So that's the end of Nikesha's innings who's such a wonderful batsman that's a big wicket as far as Tapan and the one signs are concerned. Just have a look at those highlights of the first six overs. That's a wonderful thing that the JFSC have started. The event organizers they have started showing the highlights after the power play and this is the kind of approach that the batsman started with they were hitting boundaries at will and then all of a sudden Ketav took an important wicket however you're back live as it Vidhawal coming to bowl his last over on the trot. That's a wonderful drive and straight to the fielder at short extra cover. That's a wonderful piece of fielding as well. So good cricket all round. Six point one thirty eight for two. Big wicket for Tapan in the previous over. Oh, and that's a good delivery. He's got his line really nice in the last couple of overs. He's bowling wicket to wicket and very effective line. Real double. Not at all easy for any batsman to negotiate. Oh, 
Oh, and that's a wonderful shot. He's pulled that nicely, but there's a fielder out there at deep square. Like, should be a single. Will he come back for the second? No. Good piece of work by <coughs> the fielder there. Bhavesh it is. A deep square leg does really well. Restricts them to only a single. Could have been two runs easily, but that's a very good piece of feeling and quick release by him and shows that was just a single. And we've got the new batsman on strike now for the first time. We'll be facing Veer Dhawal. It's Pan. Who's the new batsman? Oh, that's a good delivery. He's played it nicely towards the square leg for a single. Parin is off the mark. Right from the word go, his first delivery, and he's done really well to take that single and get off the mark. This is the seventh over. Veer Dhawal about to finish his spell. And he's come back really nicely after going for some runs in his first over. 6.4, 40 for two, all of a sudden the run rate has come down to just six runs and over. That's a big achievement as far as the one signs are concerned. They've come back really strongly in this match. Oh, and what a delivery, brilliant. He had no option but to play that in a defensive mode. Good stuff there by the bowler. In the air, could be out. But it goes in the gap. Should be a single. The sweeper does well. That was slightly risky by Chintan. That's the end of Veerdhawal's spell and the seventh over. 23 without any wicket. Very good figures for Veerdhawal. Especially when he bowled. The four was on a trot. 41 for two after seven. Stay tuned. We'll be back. But Tappan starting off his second over. That's a good start by him, just a dot delivery. That's a short delivery. He's pulled that. Will that be a boundary? It seems yes. Nobody will be able to stop that. The fielder is trying to do that. Oh, and he almost did that, but that's a boundary. He almost stopped it. That was a very slow delivery. That's a boundary. Gave a lot of time to the batsman to pull that. Just have a look at that. That was so close. He could have almost stopped it, but he did try his best, but it eventually went into the ropes. So Tapan bowling a very slow delivery and allowing the batsman a lot of time to hit that shot towards the deep square leg.
good delivery straight to the fielder played it nicely though parin beg your pardon that's jintan Wonderfully hit this time. Cut brilliantly will be a boundary. Wow! It is stunning batting by Chintan. Let's have a look at that. Poor delivery again by Tapan. Too short and wide of the off stump, allowing him a lot of time. Just have a look at that. You cannot bowl that to a batsman who's already on 25. What a shot it took! No time for the ball to reach the sweeper cover boundary. No chance for the fielder at sweeper. Needs to improve the length. That's a wonderful shot. Oh, and that's a boundary again. Wow, poor delivery, again. So the short bowling from Tapan continues. He's such a wonderful cricketer. I don't know why is he bowling just short deliveries. What a shot that is in the gap through the covers for a boundary. So two in two now, three boundaries in this over. Very expensive by Tapan. Twelve already of the over, and it's a fifty with that boundary. So what a wonderful comeback this is happening at the Fatima Cricket Ground by the Uptown Champions. And this is the length that you have to bowl. The line was also perfect on that occasion. That's the end of an expensive over. Twelve of that eight overs have been bowled. Fifty-three for two.
you got Rohit, who's been given the ball now. He started off well, but this is a wide, the second delivery of his spell. So run added to the tally. On strike is Parin. Oh, and that's a very good throw. But a single taken easily, and he's off the mark. Beg your pardon, that was his second run. Pardon. Oh, that's a good delivery by Rohit, right in the block hole and Chintan has played it out nicely but it's a good comeback after that. <coughs> Second delivery was a wide. That's a wonderful shot. Just a single, there's a fielder out there, does well. Another wonderful delivery, just a dot. They're bowling some really good Yorkers there. That's a short delivery and he's pulled that nicely. Should be a boundary. Nobody's stopping that for sure. Wonderful piece of batting by Par in his first boundary. Let's have a look at that. Pulled brilliantly. That was a good shot delivery. But he should have taken that deep square in my opinion. However, he chose to not take that. And that's the end of his first over. Seven of that. Rohit was the ninth over of the innings. And it's 60 for two. Last over before the drinks. You got Tapan coming to bowl his third over. On strike is Chintan. 9 over 60 for 2. So that's a good piece of batting till now. Oh, that's a brilliant piece of bowling. Slightly slower through the air. Just have a look at that. <laughs> and he was trying to pull that. Realize at the last moment. Just have a look at that. Oh, and that was so much of turn. Tapan would be a really happy man at this point of time. Can do a lot of damage with that spin of his. You're back live in the air but that is a wonderfully played cut shot will be a boundary 
and I'm surprised why has he not taken the backward point he's taken a short third but hasn't taken the backward point and look at the length that he's bowling it has to go there for sure that fielder is not in the right position in my opinion should have been a catch instead it's hit, hit in the gap nicely by Chintan for a boundary That's a wonderful drive, beautifully played. Another boundary, he's on fire. Oh, and that's a very good stop. The fielder does really well, stops. And they've taken just a single. Oh, that's shocking. Should have been at least a couple. That was such a wonderful shot, was going towards the boundary, but the fielder had long off. Stopped it and made sure it was just a single. Tapan, again expensive in this over. Five already of the three deliveries that he's bowled. That should be a wide down the leg side. Yeah. He lost the line on that delivery for sure. An extra run added to the tally. That's a nice one. Good flight to delivery. He's played it nicely to Parin. Just a single towards long on. Coming to bowl is next delivery, Tapan. Oh, that's a wonderful cut shot. This should be a boundary again. Oh, and the fielder tried his best. But this was too good for him. What a shot that is by Chintan. He's on fire today. Another boundary. Tapan going really <coughs> expensive again in this over. Another boundary. Already 11 of the over. One delivery still to go. Score has raised to 71 for 2 now. This is just the 9th over. Beg your pardon, this is 10th over. The last delivery before the drinks break. He's played that straight down the ground. Could be a boundary. And that is a boundary. What a shot that is. One bounce into the fence, straight down the ground. He's playing a gem of a knock here. 46 to him already. Chintan is on fire. Just have a look at that. And drinks being called for. But just have a look at that shot again in the replay. Just hoisted it straight down the ground for a boundary. No chance of the fielder at long off and we'll take a quick break. Be back soon. The score is 70. One for the loss of, 75 for the loss of two wickets after 10 overs. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.
We are back live after the drinks break. 75 for two. And it's Rohit coming to bowl his second over on strike is Parin. What a shot that is. Oh, and what a stop. Brilliant. He saved the boundary for sure. And this will just be a single. Absolute brilliance shown by the fielder. Just have a look at that for a replay. Oh. He's definitely saved three runs for his team. Deserves all the applause. So probably he was not ready for that. That's a dead ball declared by the umpire. Chintan was on strike after that single. Rohit will have to bowl that again. Oh, in the end, will that be a catch? Is the fielder coming behind it? Oh, and that's the keeper who's taken it. Brilliant catch by the wicket keeper. And that's a big wicket. Don't know why Chintan went for that shot. That's just throwing away his wicket at the wrong time. Just have a look at that. That's such an important wicket in the context of this game. Rohit gets a, probably the most important wicket in the lineup. And at such a crucial time, he was. Oh, and he was trying to hit the big one, but didn't get into the line of the ball. Hit it straight high up in the air and that's a very good catch by the wicket keeper but that could have been avoided as far as the batsman is concerned not a good shot at all in my opinion and that's the fall of a very important wicket at a very important juncture in this match 76 for three we'll take a quick break stay tuned viewers we'll be right back Good start to the new batsman, Karan on strike. He left the first one. We'll show you the replay of the previous wicket once again. After such a wonderful catch by the wicket keeper, Rohit bowled a good delivery. That was a wrong shot. And he threw his wicket for no reason. Just have a look at that. Not at all required. You're back live. Oh, and that's a good delivery. He's played it nicely straight to the fielder at mid wicket. Just a dot delivery. Ketav is there and will not take that single. Just have a look at the replay. That was just not required at this point of time. He could have carried his bat through the innings the way he was playing. Missed the opportunity for sure. That's a wide down the leg side. A very good spell. Two deliveries still to go in this over. Good shot, but straight to the fielder at mid on. Parin trying to open up a bit. Karan has just got off the mark on the previous delivery with a single. In the third man region, Parin on strike, 
it's played well till now. Eight of six deliveries. That's a very good shot and should be a boundary. What a shot that is by Parin. Played with a straight bat in the VN. That was a treat to watch. No chance for the fielder at mid off. Just have a look at that. That's brilliantly played. Straight down the ground for a boundary. Class written all over that. And that's the end of the over 83 for 3 after 11. Good shot in the air. Should be a couple of runs easily. Parin is playing a very good knock. Hitel is the new bowler being introduced into the attack. He started off nicely. That's a good shot by Parin. A wonderful shot could be a big six. Wow, what a pickup that is! Absolutely stunning it by Parin. He's picked it up to perfection, and Longon was just a spectator. That's a good shot again. Should be a single. We show you the replay again on the previous delivery. What a shot that was. Absolutely stunning hit. Oh, that's a brilliant pick. Brilliantly picked up. Hit perfectly towards the long on boundary. No chance for the fielder. Oh, and that's a wonderful delivery and probably he's inside the crease. Oh, he's cut that nicely but straight to the fielder. Oh, and he's missed that single taken easily. That's the end of an expensive over 11 of that. 94 for 3 after 12. That's a very good piece of batting by Parin who's reached 21 of just 12 deliveries.
That's a big wide. Rusha being introduced into the attack and starts off poorly. Way down the leg side. Five added to the tally. That's a gift to start with. 99. Two big wides on the trot. 10 of the over already. 104 now after that wide again. Sorry, it's 99 for three. That was the first wide only. That's a mistake by the scorer which has been rectified. Good delivery is played. It, the onside for a single. Will he come back for the second? No, just a single. So Rushab being introduced into the attack. And that's the 100 up with that single. This is just the 13th over. That's a great comeback after they lost two wickets. Really quickly. And then they lost Chintan as well at the wrong time. But what a partnership this has been by Parin and Karan. Rishabh coming into bowl his next delivery. In the air, this could be a big one. And probably this will be a boundary. Nobody's stopping that. He's played that in the gap. Let's have a look at that short delivery. This time he's trying to hit the big one. Oh, and that's a very sloppy bit of work there. That should have been a catch. Instead, it's a boundary. Just didn't go for that. Not at all good piece of work. Poor delivery again. Short and allowing the batsman to free his arm. But this time, this could have been a catch. Oh, and that's such a sloppy effort. That's gone to the boundary as well. So, adding insult to injury. Rushab has been really expensive in this over. Needs to buckle up. for the last three deliveries. It's a wonderful piece of batting again. This should be a single only par not interested in the second. A lot of runs being so and this time probably they'll come back for the second. This is again sloppy bit of work by the wicket keeper this time. You can't miss those. You have the gloves in the hand. And so delivery of his over oh this time he played it nicely but straight to the field at short third has not taken the single that was the right decision Hithil coming to bowl his next over starts off with a single 
on strike is now current. Parin has played a gem of a knock, 33 already to his name, of just 17 deliveries. a single again for an LBW but the Empire not interested and rightly so It's a good shot. Just a single though. Little second over 116 for 3 after 14. Rohit coming to bowl his third over on strike is Parin. Oh, he was trying to hit the cross batted shot. Missed it completely. Feeling for an LBW, but probably missing leg for sure. No chance of that to be given as an LBW. A 
గుడ్ షాట్ shot that is brilliant one bounce into the fence wow absolutely stunning work there let's have a look at that that's the perfect scoop played by karan hair brilliant stuff Oh, that's a wide down the leg side so another dot another wide and another delivery he left to bowl and another run added to the tally as well it's a good delivery should be a single feeder does well that's it end of the over for rohit is third coming to an end the score is 15 overs 123 for 3 stay tuned we'll be right back Shot delivery is pulled that nicely. Should be a boundary. Probably did not reach the fence. Had the ball slows down. Hithil pulling his third over. Starts with the shot delivery. Karan is doing a good job for the team as well, along with Parin. Last five overs remaining. Let's see how they fare in these five overs. in the air and straight to the field a chance of a single they take it easily Short delivery again. He's pulled that nicely. Will be a boundary. No, there's a fielder out there. Just a single that was hit with such power, immense power by Parin on that shot. in the air this time
That's a full toss. He's played that brilliantly. Could be a big one. Oh, it's straight into the hands of the fielder at long off. It's Rushab who takes a catch in a nervy fashion. Just have a look at that. He's got a wicket here, Hithil. But for a moment, we thought this was a good connection. Although, it wasn't to be. That's a simple catch made difficult and then eventually taken nicely by Rushab at long off boundary. So, he's done well to give his teammate an important wicket that was such a good partnership that has come to an end really unfortunate for the uptown champions they've lost another wicket 129 for 4 after 16 last 4 was remaining It's a great shot to start off the 17th over. Ketav Shah being punished by Parin again. Just have a look at that. But it's Parin who's come to the foray again. Short delivery. Oh, you can't bowl that. He's been bowling too many short deliveries today. Great shot and what a start by Parin is raised to 42 of just 26 coming to bowl his next over. Next delivery. That's a good delivery. He's played it towards the long on for a single. So he's picked that brilliantly. Parag, that's his first delivery. Would you believe it? The new batsman, the lefty, hits it. Outside the ground on his very first delivery. What a player. Wow. Ketav Shah stunned here. Just have a look at that. Just stepped down the track and he's picked the length beautifully. First delivery. Dispatched. 
for six. Will Keita show us a comeback? Oh, and this time a slow delivery is just played it towards the onside, and that's a boundary. Tried to stop it with this foot there, but did not succeed. So ten runs of the first two deliveries that Parag has faced from Ketav. Good shot. Just a single. This is going to be the last delivery of this over, this is the 17th over, and Ketav's third, an expensive one. Oh, that's a good slower delivery. But they will take a single nicely and easily. Paran will retain strike, and that's the end of the 17th over. 146 for four. Last three overs remaining. That's a very good comeback by the batting team Uptown Champions after they won the toss related to bat for. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. So Rohit coming to bowl his last over. This is the 18th of the innings. Just a single on that first delivery. Rohit has been really good in his spell. 3.1, 23 for 1 is figures. So Rohit to Parag and that's very well played but straight to the field at that point no run on that occasion good piece of work there by the fielder as well Oh, 
Oh, that's a good shot. Should just be a single. Oh, and that's a good delivery appealing for an LBW. The umpire says no. That was a close call. Oh, and that was definitely missing the leg stump. Probably the umpire also thought the same. That's a good delivery. Oh, he's played it brilliantly. What a scoop that is. Made room for himself and it's a wonderfully played shot. That's a boundary. Bhavesh tries his best to stop that. But that's a boundary. Just have a look at that for a replay. He tried his best to stop that. Didn't get the chance. So it's 18 overs, 152 for 4. The 150 is up with that boundary. Parin has played a gem of a knock today. 49 not out of just 32 deliveries after his team won the toss, selected to bat first. And it's Tapan now coming into bowl the 19th over and his last over. He's been expensive in his first three. He bowled the first over really well. Got rid of a very important batsman in the form of Nikesh Patani, but then. He's been really expensive since then. Oh, what a shot that is. And that's a six, it seems. That's a big one. Poor delivery again. Tapan has been bowling short deliveries today. It's giving a lot of time to the batsman to play shots at will. Just have a look at that. You can't bowl that to left hander. That to outside the leg stump. Poor delivery, dispatched and punished. And got the treatment it deserved. That's a flat six towards deep square. Like, what a shot that is by. Parag. And I'm sure he will now not wait for the occasion. Shall try and smash every delivery to the boundary.
put it on strike after that single was taken by Parag, who's done really well. He's raised to 19. Oh, that's a good delivery. He's played that brilliantly and in the gap as well. Wow. That's a difficult shot to be played. Oh, and the fielder has... Oh, and that seems to be... A couple of runs. We'll show you the replay. That's Parin's 50. That's a 50 to put in. Oh, and he's got him. Cleaned him up. Tapan. Getting a big wicket. And at the right time, but the damage seems to have been done. Just have a look at that. Good innings by Para coming to an end. 162 for 5 now. Tapan gets his second wicket, but he's been expensive. 42 is given of 3.4. Still has two deliveries left up his sleeve. Batsman on strike is beneath. Oh, and this time it's edge, but straight to the fielder at short third. Chance of a run out, but they've taken the. Quick single. So we need off the mark, but in back on strike. That's a good delivery. He's played it straight to the fielder at long on. Just a single and that's the end of Tappan's spell. Finishes with 44 for 2 in his 4. Expensive spell but has taken 2 important wickets. Especially Parag in this over. And the big wicket of Nikesh Patani. And that's the end of the 19th over 164 for 5. And It seems Parin is going out as retired out. We'll take a quick break and be back soon. Stay tuned viewers. Ketav coming to bowl the last over. 
Oh, that's played in the air, but should be a single. There's a field. Oh, and he's missed that. That's a very sloppy piece of work there by the fielder at long off. That should have been a single. Three runs gifted by the fielder there. Just have a look at that. Poor effort, to say the least. Oh, that should have been stopped. That's a boundary and Parin has not gone anywhere. He's still playing and doing really well for the team. That could be a big one. He's played in the air. That falls in the no man's land. Just a single taken by Parin this time. And strike is now beneath. That's a good connection, it seems. Going in the air, high up. One is that a catch? Yeah, that's a catch, and Vineet goes back to the pavilion. And that's the end of a short innings by Vineet. Contributes with a single in his innings, and it's 169 for the loss of six wickets now. Ketav has got his second wicket. Full toss and that will be a boundary. Sunil is a new batsman and that's a poor delivery to the new batsman by Ketav. And he's got the treatment that it deserved. Oh, that's a really poor full toss. He was lucky it was not given a no ball. Goes through the point region for a boundary. Sunil off the mark in style with the boundary. Two deliveries left in the last over of this first innings. Oh, that's a good slower delivery. He's missed it completely, Sunil, but that will be a single of the buys. So one last delivery remaining in this first innings. The score is such a healthy one now. 174 for the loss of six wickets. They've done really well as a batting unit. And Parin is the protagonist here. 59 of just 36. Look at that. What a strike rate and brilliantly played, brilliantly structured this innings right from the word go. He had the intent to attack and go for his shots and that's what he's done throughout his innings. 174 for the loss of 6 wickets. Last delivery of the first innings. Kate up to Parin. Poor delivery, could be a no ball. And that's a 6, wow, what a brilliant end to this innings. And the umpire has declared it. A legitimate delivery. That's the end of the 20 overs. And look at that. What a big six that is to end the innings. And the score after 20 overs is a very healthy one. 180 for six. Nine runs per over is what they've ended at. That's an absolutely peach of an innings by a par in 64 of just 37. He's getting a standing ovation from the entire dugout and his teammates. Accepts that, acknowledges that and deserves all the adulation and the applause and the score that one science will have to chase now is 181 in their 20 overs we'll come back in around 10 minutes from now for the second innings till then don't go anywhere just stay tuned and we'll be back in around 10 minutes
Hello all, we welcome you to the second innings of the TSL match between the two teams being played at the Fatima Cricket Ground and one science will have to chase 181 to win this match. It was a good start by the batting team after they won the toss and then they could score 180 and now one science will have to chase that. It's a good start by Siddharth, the opening bowler, wonderfully bowled and on strike is Veer Dawal and Neeraj is at the non-striker's end. That's a very good start by the bowler. With the new ball, first delivery, bang on target and beat the ball, beat all ends up. So up, uptown champions will have to defend a score of 180. That's a good delivery again, slightly short of length but that was a quicker one. So he was trying to cut that, beat the ball, not succeeding again. Two dot deliveries to start with Siddharth, does really well. With the new ball, and uptown champions have done extremely well to score a good score and healthy total of 180 runs in the first innings. That's a good delivery again. He's played that on the up, but just a dot delivery, playing it straight to mid off for no run. Good start by Siddharth. Absolutely bang on target right from the word go. This guy. That's played straight to the backward point. Chance of a run out. But they've taken a quick single. It's a good start. Let's have a look at that for a replay. Short of length again. That was a quick single and he's off the mark. We double. Neeraj did really well to reach there in time. Be back live. That should be a wide, way outside that off stump and swinging away from the right hander. That's the first extra run given by Siddharth in his over. This is his first over. That's a good shot. In the air and in the gap, will definitely be a couple of runs. That's good intent shown by Neeraj. First runs for him. That was a good shot. This is the last delivery of the first over. Oh, and that's a wide down the left side and will be five runs. That's going to the boundary. Poor delivery for sure. He's trying to bring the ball back into the right hander. Just have a look at that. Oh, and that was definitely with no control. And the entire over has got spoiled with that five wides. So you need to be really careful if you have the new ball in your hands. Every dot is priceless and every extra run can be really painful for any team at any point of time. This time it was five runs, five wides and that's a big freebie to the opposition by the bowler. In the air, this could be a catch. Oh, and it falls short of the fielder. Who was that long off instead of mid off? And probably this was the last delivery. That is why they had taken the mid off to long off and could have been an easy catch to him. But that's the end of the first over. 10 without loss. That's a good start as far as the one science batsmen are concerned. 10 without loss after one.
This is the second over and Nimit coming to bowl his first on strike is Neeraj. That's a wide on the leg side and the umpire doesn't hesitate to stretch his arms. Another dot, another extra added to the tally. Oh, that time another wide. So, two in a row. They're having their problems with the wides, both these bowlers, and a lot of extras being given already in the first couple of overs. This is just the end of the first over that has happened, and two wides to start with the new over. So, big issues as far as both the bowlers controlling the new ball is concerned. Oh, and what a shot! That's a brilliant connection. Should be a boundary. One bounce into the fence. Such a wonderful shot this is. And Neeraj is on fire. That was such a brilliant shot. Just have a look at that for a replay. Fished up. He was waiting for that. That was such a nice shot. One bounce into the fence at deep mid wicket. Coming to bowl his next delivery. Nimit to Neeraj. Oh, and that's pulled brilliantly again. This should be a boundary again. Nobody's stopping that. This is really high quality batting by the opener. That was such a wonderful shot. And he was rocked on the back foot. And just have a look at that pull shot. Absolutely brilliant stuff. From outside the off -stream, he just picks it. Hits it towards the deep mid wicket. This is really high quality batting. And the bowler in deep trouble. Just two deliveries, he's bowled and has gone for 10 runs already. Still four to go in this over. Neeraj is hitting shots at will. 11 of just four deliveries. What a start by him. This is his third aerial shot in the four shots that he has hit till now. That's what you expect from an opener. This is a genuine stroke player, a flamboyant player. This time, that's a good delivery. He's taken a quick single chance off a single. Easily taken by both of them. stuff by both these players that's a wonderful comeback by the bowler Full toss, he's hit that nicely. Veer Dhawal. But that will just be a single. There's a fielder after those two boundaries. That they've kept at the deep mid wicket. A piece of work there by the batsman. And Neeraj back on strike. One last delivery remaining. This has been expensive over 12 already. Of his five deliveries by Nimit. Oh, this time, that's a miss it, but will that be a catch? There's a feeder underneath that. And he takes a brilliant catch. Wow, who other than Nikesh Patani? Probably the best feeder of the team. That's a wonderful catch, and there's a first wicket down. Just have a look at that replay. And Nimit takes a very important wicket in the form of Neeraj, who was trying to hit another big one. But that's a very good catch. Judged brilliantly by Nikesh at covers, and that's the end of the first wicket. 22 for 1. The partnership has got broken and Nimit does the <coughs> job for the team, takes the break, gets the breakthrough and it's 22 for 1 after 2. That's the end of the over as well. And it's Tappan who's coming into bat. We'll take a quick break and be back soon. Stay tuned viewers.
Siddharth coming into both. Oh, ho, ho! he's cleaned him up. Veer Dhawan going back to the pavilion. What a delivery! Wow! Just have a look at that. Yes. That's a brilliant piece of bowling and hit the button absolutely on the right spot. Just have a look at that for a replay. The off stump castle there. That's a perfect delivery. Oh, and that did swing as well. That late swing. And Siddharth has done the job for the team. Two wickets down now. All of a sudden. Two deliveries and two wickets. This could be a team hat-trick if Siddharth takes another wicket on the next delivery. And Veer Dhawal goes back to the pavilion. 22 for two. And we'll take a quick break again. Stay tuned, viewers. We'll be right back. Samir, who's on strike now, the new batsman. Siddharth has been brilliant. Along with Nimit, who've taken a wicket apiece. And oh, that's a wide for sure. Way outside the off stump again. The umpire has given that a wide. So Siddharth needs to be within the stumps again. He's been brilliant with the wicket that he took on the previous delivery. Before the wide was bowled. delivery just a dot on that occasion When he's lost the run up on that occasion, he'll have to come back and bowl that again. Delivery. That's not a wide, but a wild delivery, and that's a wide. Just lost all control on that. He'll have to bowl that again and an extra run also added to the tally. Oh, that's a peach of a delivery. Wow. You won't get a better ball today in this match. Just have a look at that for a replay again. That's a gem of a delivery. We show the replay later. What a delivery. You're back live with the next delivery. That's a good one again. Samit plays it nicely. Back to the fielder. Bowler 
would as well. Go delivery again. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Twenty-five for two after th three overs. Just a single. Twenty over. You've got Nimit. That's a good delivery to start with Samir. Not really comfortable at the crease at the moment. Taking his time and that's the right way. That should be a wide and that's, this will be a boundary as well. So five runs added to the tally and poor delivery again. Good delivery, he played it well, but straight to the fielder at covers, just a dot. So a lot of runs being given as extras. That's the sad part about the bowlers here is. Appealing for an LBW this time and the umpire says no. That was definitely very close, but the umpire probably looking at it and saying no because it might be going down the leg side. Limit to Tappan. Oh, and this time! Very close, and the umpire says no again, probably missing the leg stump. Very close. We'll show you the replay once again. Just have a look at that. Oh, and that was hitting the back leg, but probably it was swinging away into the left hander, and that is why it was definitely missing the leg stump. So that's a very good decision by umpire. Om saying the experienced umpire does the end of. That's not the end of the over. Two deliveries still to go. But they're not getting the right connection. Both the players. A 
It's a good delivery. Played nicely too. It's 34 for 2 after 4. Neat has been introduced into the attack, starts off nicely. Oh, and that's such a wonderful delivery. Tapan had no idea about that. This is the fifth over, 34 for two, and they need a partnership at the moment. Both these players really capable to take their team through to the end of the innings, but then they will have to share the wickets. Good delivery again, he's missed that and they'll take a single of the buys. Wonderful bowling by Vineet. Five dot deliveries in, on the trot. Just a run score of the bye. That goes into the extra. So, what a start to the spell by Vineet. Can he bowl a maiden? We'll just look at this last delivery. 
Oh, and this time could have been a maiden wicket, but instead it's just a maiden. That was an inside edge. What a delivery to end the over. Just have a look at that. Oh, that was so close. That's the end of the fifth over. A maiden over by Vineet, his first. The score is 35 for two after five. What a shot that is by Samir, straight down the ground for a wonderful boundary. That was pushed up by Siddharth and punished by Samir. He's such a wonderful batsman, just have a look at that. 
banked straight down the ground for a boundary. No chance for the fielder at mid off. That should be another boundary. But that was a thick outside edge and no chance for the wicket keeper and flew into the fence. Third man, 49 for two all of a sudden. Poor start by Siddharth to this over by giving away five wides as a gift. Oh, another wide, so he's definitely struggling with the line. Has the 50 up as well. Oh, that's a good delivery and again an edge taking it to the field at point for no run. He's played that nicely. Should be a couple of runs easily. Done really well in this over, Samir. A very expensive over till now. Still has. 17 of that. So many extras as well. So, not the right way to be bowling with the new ball. Six overs have been bowled. 52 for two, Siddharth. Three overs, 30 for one is figures. Very expensive and we need coming to ball the second over. Plays it towards third man for single and Tapan has given strike to Samir again who's played really well. Samir 15 of 16 deliveries. Some really good shots in the previous over by him. The good delivery is played it nicely to just a dot delivery on that occasion. Mm -hmm. 
Good delivery that came sharply into the right hand of just a single. And he's coming back for the second, it seems, but Tapan says no. They could have gone for that, in my opinion, but not a wrong thing also to not take, take any risks at the moment. That's played nicely by Tapan towards the deep square leg for a boundary. What a shot that is. A sensible batting. Just have a look at that. How he picked it from outside the off stump. And played it in the, the gap perfectly for a boundary. That should be a wide on the leg side. So the wars continue for the uptown champions. So many wides in the first seven overs. This is just the seventh over. Would you believe it? They've given away around 25 runs as wides. That could be the big difference in this match. A good shot will be a boundary it seems wonderfully played by Tapan again that was a short delivery and he just played it so nicely towards the final leg for a boundary Capable batsman can do the job for his team along with Samir, who's a very flamboyant stroke player. That's a very good delivery by Vineet, putting in the right area. That's the end of an expensive over by him, 11 of that, and he had bowled a maiden over. Remember that the first over of his spell was a maiden, so 11 of this score is 63 for 2 after 7. Sunil being introduced into the attack and that's a good start by Samir taking it for a single to covers.
Tap on strike now. Oh, that's a good delivery. Chance of a run out of the bowler and he's missed that. Ho oh, ho, that should have been. It was a great chance for a run out, but the keeper missed that collection. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. That's a bit of a misfield by the fielder, but still just a single. Good shot and played it straight back to the bowler. He's done well to stop that. Not allow a single on that occasion. Just a dot. Chance of a run out. Oh, he's missed that. That was so close. of his first over that's a good over by him so Neil gives away only five runs eight overs have been bowled 68 for two Single taken on the first delivery of Parag, who's been introduced into the attack. This is the ninth over of the inning, 69 for two. Samir starts off with a single and on strike is now Tappan. That's such a wonderful cut shot. Could be a boundary. What a shot that is by Tapan. Probably one of the best shots of the evening. Brilliantly played. Such a 
such a wonderful shot. a good shot A quicker one, but just played it nicely. Take like a single. Good delivery and they've taken a quick single again. Very well played by Tapan. Really well supported by Samir on that single. Pitched up, he's played it nicely towards long on for a single. That's the end of Farag's first over. Seventy-seven for two after nine. That's Sunil coming to bowl his second over. What a start to his over. He was trying to cut that. Samir missed that completely. 77 for 2. The run rate is quite healthy. 8.4 at the moment. That's a very good partnership that these two have developed till now. Good delivery again by Sunil straight to the field at that point. He's missed that. This poor sloppy cricket. It should have been a dot delivery. You release all the pressure with such kind of efforts. Especially the bowler becomes demoralized and dis disappointed. He's the one who's actually bowling hard to contain the flow of runs. And the field is just not supporting today. But the extras have also been a big problem as far as the uptown champions are concerned so many wide deliveries and that to going to boundaries is a big cause of concern for the bowling team good delivery just a single Oh, 
That's a wonderful shot. Should be a boundary. Played straight down the ground. What a player this guy is, Samir. Very effective. And once he said it becomes really difficult for the bowlers. Just have a look at that. Straight down the ground for such a wonderful shot. It's a boundary. Oh, and this time appealing, but probably that was bad. That's a good delivery to end the over by Sunil, and that's the end of the 10 overs. 84 for 2, that's a wonderful effort by the one science batsman. That's a great answer to the chase till now. 8.4 runs an over, and all they need is 97 now to win in the next 10 overs, and drinks being called for to be back in around 2 minutes from now. Stay tuned. Para coming into bowl his next over after a drinks break Samir on strike 84 for 2 after 10 overs 
Oh, and he's gone. What a delivery by Parag. And that's a very good catch by the keeper. Samir has edged that. He's caught behind. That's a big wicket. And the drinks break. Probably doing the trick for the fielding team here. Oh, and that should have been. Oh, and he's edged it to the keeper. Big wicket by Parag. Samir was playing so well. Goes back to the pavilion on a score of 26. Very important contribution to this chase, but not the right time to go back to the pavilion. We got the new batsman on strike, taking his guard. New batsman Rohit on strike. What a shot that is to start off his innings. Poor delivery by Parag. A juicy full toss. And he's hit that through the point region for a boundary. Just have a look at that. That's a four. Right on his very first delivery. He sends the ball into the fence. He's cleaned him up. Wow, what a delivery by Parag and what a comeback after the boundary was scored. The and he's bowling a gem of a spell here, Parag, especially this over. He's taken two such important wickets of the opposition. Rohit completely beaten and goes back to the pavilion. The stumps castled there by Parag. What an over and what a game changing over this could be. 88 for 4 now. We'll take a quick break. Be back soon. Stay tuned. Kunal is the new batsman. He's taking strike for the first time in his innings. And Parag is bowling with his tail up. What a wonderful spell of bowling, especially this over. That's a short delivery. He's played it nicely towards the mid wicket for a single.
that is single is a feeder out there at long off he does so parag ends a very good and a very important over i guess still one delivery is remaining so he still has an opportunity to take a wicket the way he's bowling oh and that's a peach of a delivery to finish the over 15 for 2 his figures after 2 overs and 90 for 4 after 11 all of a sudden they were 86 for 2 84 for 2 then on 90 for 4 So one over has cost them two such important wickets. Credit goes to Parag here. show with being introduced into the attack the left arm spinner oh and starts off with a wide delivery way outside the off there's no ball that was outside the pitch it seems and that's the reason why this has been called a no ball just have a look at that oh and that was such a poor delivery And that's free it now. Comes down the track. Tapan could be a boundary, but what a stop by the fielder at long off. Cut down to just a single. That's a wonderful delivery. He's missed that completely. Kunal. Oh, appealing for an LBW is gone. Such a wonderful piece of bowling by Shobit here. He gets his first wicket. Just have a look at that, Kunal. Not playing with a straight bat and. Oh and that was definitely out that's a good decision by the umpire raising his finger Shobit immediately strikes in his first over it's 92 for 5 all of a sudden Tapan at the other end is watching his partners go back to the pavilion since a couple of overs we show the replay again oh and definitely hitting the leg stump Good piece of bowling by Shobit, the left arm spinner. batsman is Rishabh Rupani on strike the left handed batsman from this end as well so two lefties now at the crease Shobit the left arm spinner as well so coming to bowl is first to Rishabh oh and 
that seems to be a dead ball. It's not getting hold of that of that ball properly. It seems the dew is there and it's causing the ball to slip from his hands. Not the first time it happened in this hole. Probably is switching the sides again, coming to bowl from round the wicket. Good shot by Rusha, but straight to the fielder at mid wicket. No run taken. Oh, that's a good delivery. He's played it straight back to the bowler. And the run rate. Now it. 7.77 runs and over required run rate RRR has gone up to almost 11 runs and over and that's a poor delivery wide down the leg side was trying to bowl quicker through the air probably and that's the reason why he lost control on that the previous two deliveries were really good the way he was just flighting them and trying the batsman trying to lure the batsman for the big shot Poor delivery and he's missed that. That's a no ball as well and that's a very good stop by the fielder. Great stuff. This will be a free hit because it was a no ball declared by the umpire. But that is a missed opportunity. I feel could have been a big shot or maybe more runs just a couple of runs on that delivery but no and a single oh he comes down the track and this could be chance of few runs here will he come back for the second seems no that's a very good pick up perfectly sent back at the right time by Tappan that's the end of Shobit's first over, six of that over, and a wicket. It's a very good over. Eventually, 96 for 5 after 12. Eight overs remaining, they need 85 to win. next over and this time this could be a big one oh he's dropped it that was a catch and the fielder drops it could have been the sixth wicket and Parak's third but that's an easy catch dropped by the fielder at the backward square leg Tapan was trying to hit the big one he gets let off on strike is now Rushab. Oh, and he's played another dot delivery. So, needs to be really careful with the dots. Does not have the luxury to play a lot of dot deliveries, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, and probably there was an edge. There was an inside edge or a bottom edge, we are not sure, but definitely there was an edge. That's a missed chance again, so both the batsmen dropped in this over. delivery and Tapan plays it straight down the ground again for a single long off is there to stop that just three of the over till now it's a wonderful shot there's a fielder out there, just a single. Good piece of work by the fielder at deep mid wicket. And that's the 100 up with that single. At the end of 13 overs, the score is 100 for 5. 81 required to win in 7 overs. Oh, and that's an inside edge. Probably will go to the boundary. There's a fielder out there, does well, just a single. So we need bowling his third over. And they need boundaries now. Singles won't help a lot. Just 6.4 overs remaining. Good shot, should just be a single though. Oh, and this time appealing for an LBW, but the umpire says no. That was so close. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, definitely not out. That's a very good decision by the Empire, missing the leg stump for sure. This is good bowling by Vineet, just three of this over. Tapan not able to convert. Some loose deliveries into big shots, and his striker is also less than 100 at the moment. He needs to. Increase the momentum of this innings coming into both his next delivery. That's a good shot. And should be a boundary. What a shot that is by Tappan. Probably he was listening to the commentary. Immediately response to the call. That's a wonderful boundary towards the deep square leg.
Para coming into bowl is last over. Score is 109 for 5 now after that single taken by Tapanen. Rishabh. It's a wonderful shot, but the fielder out there should just be a single. The long one is there, Nikesh Patani. That's edged and should be a single. There's a feeler out there, it does really well. Comes down the track. This could be a big one. It's a very good shot by Rushab. Should be a couple of runs easily. And will he come back for the third? It seems no. Good delivery. That's a wonderful shot. This could be a boundary. Nobody's stopping that. What a stop by Nikesh. Wow. And he's definitely saved a couple of runs and chance of a run out as well. But Two runs taken by Rushab. That's the end of Parag's spell. But what a stop by Nikesh at long on boundary. Came all the way from wide of long on to stop that. And that's the end of the 15th over 115 for 5. The run rate has come down drastically to 7.67 and the required run rate is 13.2. Would you believe it? After the end of 10 overs, the required run rate was 9.7. So they've definitely lost the plot in the last 5 overs for sure. They've scored just 30, 29 runs in the last 5 overs. And they've lost 3 wickets. So, poor show by the one science in the last 5 overs. They need to get up for the last 5 overs of this innings. The 16th over about to get bowled by Harsh who's been introduced into the attack. Another new bowler being introduced. So the previous five overs have been disappointing but the next five overs have to be miraculous if they want to win this match 13.2 runs per over is the ask on strike is Tapanen Rushab is at the non-striker's end good delivery should just be a dot beg your pardon should just be a single he's trying to come back for the second
Oh, that's a wonderful little and a great bit of keeping as well. Brilliant. Rushab trying to hit that towards the onside, but the bounce. That delivery not allowing him to do that. Comes down the track. That's a wonderful shot. Will be a boundary. One bounce into the fence. What a shot that is by Rushab Rupani. That was such a flat batted shot. No chance for the fielder at long on this time. Let's have a look at the replay. Shimmies down the track, gives himself the room. Bang straight down the ground for a boundary. Rushab Rupani on fire at the moment. And he's rushed to 14 of just 14 deliveries. So the strike rate has come to. A run a ball. And that's a good shot again towards deep mid wicket. Could be a single. There's a fielder out there. Oh, he comes down the track and hits it brilliantly towards the point. Chance of a run out. What has he done? He's missed not only a chance of a run out, but he's given up in a single as well. That's a big, big blunder by the bowler. Even when the fielder had not sent the ball towards the right end, still Tapan was almost at the other end. Just have a look at that for a replay. Not the right hand to throw, but look at that, where Tapan was. And the bowler has just not picked it up. So, Rishabh on strike now. That's a good delivery. We're expecting a wide, it seems, but that's just a dot delivery. Seven of that over. 122 for five after 16, last four overs remaining. Chintan coming to bowl his first over, being introduced into the attack, and what a shot that is by Tapan. Comes down the track for a wonderful boundary to start off the over. That's a four. That's a great shot. Just have a look at that. Nobody stopping that. One bounce into the fence. That was such a wonderful shot by Tapan. We have no option but to come down the track every now and then and hit some big shots. Whatever they want to do, they have to score 14.35 runs and over, which is the current run rate required. Oh, that's a good delivery by Chintan, right in the block hole. Really quick delivery by him, but played nicely for a single was long off by Tapan and on strike is now Rishabh Dupani. That's a wonderful shot and he's missed that. Just a single. He'll not go for the second.
That's a good delivery by Chintan. Rolled his wrist. Bowled the leg cutter. That's a dot delivery and Tapan missed that completely. Another boundary here for Tapan. Just have a look at that. How he hit that. And that was a poor bit of fielding, I must say. Sloppy stuff there by the fielder. That should have been stopped, but that's a boundary. One thirty four for five after seventeen, last three overs remaining. And they need forty seven to win. Almost sixteen runs and over. A lot of work to be done. Tapan has played a good knock, forty four of thirty nine, but he needs to accelerate now. Same is the case with Rushab. Seventeen deliveries. Twelve deliveries for sixteen runs, so he's also got a good strike rate, but then he needs to accelerate as well. Last Two O's have been really good for the one science team, but the five O's prior to the last two O's probably changed the course of this game in favor of the uptown champions. Oh, and that's a boundary on the first year we need. Pulling a perfect yorker, but the wicket keeper missing that. Sushabu gets the boundary here. Oh, and it seems it is. An inside edge, yes, definitely. That's a boundary to the batsman. Good shot by Rishabh, playing it towards the long on for a single. Nikesh is there to stop that. This time he's gone. Wonderfully bowled by Vineet. Comes down the track and he's got stumped. A wonderful knock by Tapan coming to an end, but what a brilliant piece of bowling this is. Let's have a look at that. And a very good piece of work by the wicket keeper. So six wicket down. Tapan goes back to the pavilion and Vineet gets a very important wicket. We we'll take a quick break and be back soon. Stay tuned, viewers.
Which Kate of Shaw's a new batsman in the air. Just a single. Last 14 deliveries remaining and they need 41 to win in 14. So Rushab Rupani is a search batsman. 21 of 19. He will have to take the early route. Ketav is also a good hitter. We all know that. But then a lot of runs required now. 18 runs and over almost is the ask. Good shot. Should just be a single. Will he come back for the second? It seems yes. They're coming back. Good piece of running. Oh, that's a wonderful throw. Two runs still taken easily. Last delivery of Vineet Spell. He's done really well. One wicket for 27 and 3.5. Rupani, can he hit this for a big one? Definitely will. Help the cause a lot. That's a good shot. Should be a couple of runs. Will he come back for the second? It seems no. Just a single. Good piece of work by the fielder. That's the end of the 18th over 143 for 6. Last two was remaining. They need 39, 38 to win in two overs. So two overs remaining. Chintan coming to bowl. The second over on strike is Rushab, who's playing really well, but needs to strike big. That's a big wide, and the wicketkeeper has missed that. There's a fielder out there. Chance of run out at the bowler's end. Ho ho! And will he come back for the second? Yes. So three runs added to the tally, and that's not the right way. The bowler has to react. He should be going back to the stumps instead of standing there at the pitch. The second run could have been avoided of the overthrow but the bowler was looking at the ball instead of going back to the wicket so basics not being followed followed here and you need to keep a really cool head in such circumstances 35 now to win in two overs chintan will have to bowl that delivery again and that too he's given three wides on the first delivery so very important delivery for the batting team and this should be another wide and the umpire has stretched his arms. Good piece of umpiring I must say. That was definitely a wide. So four runs added to the, to the tally. Good delivery, good comeback. Not the right shot. Should have been playing it towards the offside. Oh, and that should be a big wide. Chintan distributing freebies here for no reason. 11 deliveries and 33 to win now. Definitely achievable. Especially with the number of wides that they're giving. And I expect a few more to come as well. Chintan needs to be disciplined here. Oh, and this time, a thick edge. 
He's gone this time. That's a good catch by the fielder at short third. He was standing at the edge of the circle and that's a very good wicket and an important one as well. Rishabh Mupani was playing well but Chintan gets rid of him with some good bowling. He tried his best but fell short. 24 he scored. That's a good piece of batting but not enough at the moment. 10 deliveries, 33 to win. Not much left in this match but still anything could happen. One signs will have to do a miraculous job here especially Ketav who is a set batsman now. He's played only one delivery though. But he spent some time at the crease and here comes a new batsman Rohan will be taking strike. And that should be a boundary. First delivery. Thick edge. Taking it towards the third man. That goes into the fence. And that's the 150 up as well. Just have a look at that. It's a good way to get off the mark, Rohan, hitting a boundary on the very first delivery. Twenty-nine is what they need of nine deliveries. That's a very good delivery, just a dot. That's a good delivery. He's played it nicely. Straight to the fielder that covers. Chance of a run out of the bowler's end. And he's gone. What a throw that is. Wow. Stunning bit of work there by the fielder that covers. And Rohan will have to go back to the pavilion. Just have a look at that. That's an extremely well fielded. And what a throw that is. Wow. He just one stump to look at. And he's hit the bullseye there. 152 for the loss of 8 wickets now. Keta will be on strike but 2 wickets in this over. Last 2 wickets remaining. We'll take a quick break and be back soon. Stay tuned. to bowl to Mithil now and he plays it nicely towards the long off should just be a single though Nikesh standing there like a rock and he's coming back for the second that's a wonderful piece of running 
Not a good throw by Nikeshan. Don't know why he was waiting for them to start taking the run, and that could be sloppy. Is that a delivery still left in this over? It seems no. That's the end of the over. So it's 154 for 8 after 19. 27 required to win in one over. So last over starting by Hershan. Just a dot delivery to start the over. On strike is Mithil. Plays it back to the bowler. Coming to bowler next. That's a good shot. Should be a couple of runs. Could be a boundary as well. And that will be a boundary for sure. Came down the track nicely and hit it towards the fine leg for a boundary. 23 to win in 4 deliveries, he will have to hit all of them out of the park. Oh, he's picked that brilliantly. This could be a big one. Could be a catch as well. And he's gone. Nikesh, the wonderful catcher. Very safe fielder. Especially when he's standing in the deep and at the boundary line. That's a very good just catch. Just have a look at that. And Harsh gets a wicket. The ninth one. And his second. It's Mithil who's going back to the pavilion. He's playing a good shot. It's 158 for 9, 3 deliveries remaining. This match is virtually over and has gone back, gone into the hands of the uptown champions. One side is, did try quite well, but they're quite short. It was around 20 runs, 3 deliveries still to go, however. You can try and hit a couple of big ones. And he's gone. That's Tom Dan. That's the end of the innings. In 19.4 overs, the one signs team has got folded. And the last wicket going to Harsh again. It was stumped nicely by the keeper. He came down the track. That's the end of the innings and the match. This match has been won by the Uptown Champions. By a margin of 22 runs. They've done really well to defend the score of 180. And one science played really well. But then 158 is what they could manage. They were all out. 19.4 overs. And we thank all the viewers and spectators once again for joining in for another match in the TSL. And we'll be back with another match of the TSL very soon. Till then, take care, take care of yourselves. And this is your commentator, Shalin Gupta, signing off for the evening. Goodbye, good night. And we'll see you very soon with the next match in, t in the TSL, the Super D. Bye-bye, good night, cheers, take care.